Yes, fireworks can lead to burns and other injuries. Sparklers too, but these can also lead to this. It's important to understand how quickly fires can start. If we start these uh, fireworks close to any type of dry brush, we can have these fires start. The expanse of the valley weaving in, out and around the desert. With this excessive brush, because of this beautiful super bloom that we had, we are more susceptible than ever to fires. Division Chief Ashley Losh is with Arizona Fire and Medical Authority, serving areas like Sun City West, Tonopah and Buckeye Valley. It's becoming kindling, so any little spark is just setting off these fires. And now with fireworks set to be lit, they could become brush fires. We've had so many in the last month month that we do not need to introduce fireworks into this equation and just make it that much more of a struggle for the community. Losh warning how quickly that spark can spread. When the winds pick up, the speed at which these fires grow would blow your mind. It, it's, it's so fast, it's a blink of an eye. So while you think it's innocent, you could put it out really quickly, you can't. It's very, very difficult to get ahead of them. Noting it's hundreds of firefighters working to put out the diamond fire across the valley. They've been working overnight. Most of them haven't had a break. And let's talk about the fact that the temperatures are so high today just for them to stay up on their hydration and making sure that they're safe, stretching through, protecting the homes. It's dangerous business. The recommendation, leave all the spark and explosions to the professionals. Please avoid the fireworks this year. We understand that they're fun. Go to the big shows, stay out of lighting them up in the neighborhoods, please. That's not even to talk about the injury potential, right? Just the fire potential. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.